What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Rivas Talk Sports. In today's video, I will be giving you my NFC West full predictions for the upcoming 2024 NFL season. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So the first team that I will be talking about is the San Francisco 49ers. And my bold prediction for this team is that they're going to win the NFC West division three straight years and be the number one seed in the playoffs. Look, the San Francisco 49ers, the amount of returning production they have, Brock Purdy has shown that he could be a difference maker at the quarterback position. Now you have Christian McCaffrey. Hopefully, Debo Samuel could be healthy. Um, hopefully, that Brendan Ayuk will stay the full season. There's a lot of talks about him being traded. But all in all, if Brock Purdy's there at the helm, Christian McCaffrey's healthy, Kittle, Debo Samuel, Brendan Ayuk, this offense is going to be locked and loaded again. And I really don't see any other team in this division that can knock the 49ers off from taking that top spot. I don't think the Seahawks will be able to be number one in this division, nor do I see the Cardinals or the Rams. So the 49ers will make it three straight years being divisional winners. And in terms of being the number one seed in the playoffs, the only other teams that I can see be number one in the playoffs are the Lions and the Eagles. But I might have to give the slight edge to the 49ers out of those two other teams just based off the returning production. Brock Purdy's is elevating at another level and just the amount of just playmakers they have on offense and defense just from just this team is just nasty as a whole. So my bold prediction for the 49ers. Now, my next team that we're talking about is might be quite a take that I might have, but I think the Seattle Seahawks will sneak into that wild card spot and make the playoffs. Um, great chance that they probably finish nine and eight again, or maybe 10 and seven. But they do have a new coach, and typically when a new coach takes over a new team, teams tend to regress a bit, but I do believe that Mike Mc Mike McDonald will definitely take this defense to another level. Um, in his first year as a defensive coordinator with the Baltimore Ravens, they were a top five rushing allowed defense. And in 2023, they allowed the least amount of rushing touchdowns, and one of the parts of this defense see the Seahawks defense is the rush defense wasn't that good very subpar and I believe if Mike McDonald can definitely elevate that rush defense I do think that the Seahawks can earn a playoff spot um Geno Smith at quarterback although he is not elite but for the value that they're paying him and for him to produce um you can't beat that kind of bargain they're getting out of Geno Smith the wide receiver room is elite. DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockin, JSN, and then you have a running back room of Cabernet and Kenneth Walker. So the offense is good as a whole. As long as they protect Geno Smith, the Seahawks are the type of team where if they're down a touchdown or maybe two possessions coming to the fourth quarter, they have the offense to come back and bring their team to get a W. So that offense is straight. As long as the defense can hold it down and just elevate that rushing defense. And they got Byron Murphy in the 2024 NFL draft. So as long as they can maintain and elevate that rush defense, I do see the Seahawks sneaking into that wild card spot. This as my prediction for the Seahawks. Now, the next team I will be talking about is the Arizona Cardinals. This may not be a team prediction, but more so a player predict prediction. So this is going to be Marvin Harrison Jr. will get at least 1,000 receiving yards. This is quite a bold take, and I believe there are betting lines if he will get a thousand receiving yards, but I truly believe he will get that. Hopefully, that Kyler Murray can have a full season, no injuries, just playing full 17 games. And I think Kyler Murray is going to pepper the ball at Marvin Harrison Jr. Yes, he had the tight end and they have a Michael Wilson. Um, then they have James Conner and Trey Benson. But the production that Marvin Harrison Jr. had. At Ohio State, I know he had C.J. Stroud as his quarterback his freshman year, but he had Kyle McCord, who was 
a bit of an average quarterback at Ohio State, and Marvin Harrison Jr. was still able to produce. And it doesn't matter who is at the quarterback position. You throw the ball to Marvin Harrison Jr.'s way, he's going to make a play. He may not be the fastest wide receiver, but he has elite route running ability. He could get separation against man coverage and find zoned. Uh, soft spots in the zone. So I believe that Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to help elevate this offense. Kyler Murphy is going to look his way a lot. And I honestly think that Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to get at least a thousand receiving yards and have a great rookie season. And last but not least, the last team I'll be talking about is the Los Angeles Rams. And my bold prediction is that Puka Nakua will get double digit touchdown catches. This guy is him. He is him, H-I-M, capital letters. You cannot hate the dude. He showed out his rookie season, had a historic rookie season with 105 receptions, 1,486 receiving yards, and six touchdown catches. As long as Matthew Stafford is healthy, the Lions protecting Matthew Stafford. I understand they have have Cooper Cup, um, but I think Puka Nakua is a star in the making. He is the wide receiver of the future for this team. And I think Stafford's going to look his way. I mean, what Puka Nakua did his rookie season was very historic. He did it against teams double covering him, knowing that he wasn't going to get the ball, and he still showed out. He is a special player. He is going to be, I don't, I'm not going to say a fantasy football sleeper, but he's someone that if you select him in fantasy football, he is not going to disappoint you on a week to week basis. He is so much probably you're gonna probably gonna want to have in fantasy football, but in NFL terms in the season, I think he's going to have a phenomenal season. He could probably have a borderline all pro season. Borderline, not saying he is, but a borderline all pro season if he keeps his production up his sophomore season. A lot of people are saying that he's going to regress. This is not sustainable, but I don't see any regressing. This is hap- this happening. Um, Matthew Stafford is probably one of the top gunslingers in the NFL, and if he has a lot of trust in you and knows that you can make a play with the ball in your hands, he is going to give you the ball. And I can see um, Puka Nakua's targets increasing a little bit, his receptions increasing a little bit. I'm not too sure if he'll break 1,500 receiving yards, but he damn near be – having 1400 1450 receiving yards but me i'll put the money that puka nakua will get double digit touchdown catches this is the season for it 10 or more puka nakua is going to show out in 2024 thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoy the content please give the video a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel i make weekly football content every mondays and fridays so don't forget to subscribe thank you so much and catch you next time